This video is going to be a guide on how to set up VBA GX to play Game Boy games on your Wii U for free. This is going to include downloading the emulator and setting it up, getting the channel on your virtual Wii menu, and how to get covers for your games. This tutorial isn't going to include how to get the ROMs, I'm not allowed to show you that, and it's also not going to include the Wii U channel. That's going to be a different video, so subscribe and stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming out not too long after this one. So getting right into it, the first link in the description is going to take you to this Wii Brew page. Now here you can read all about the Visual Boy Advance GX emulator. Uh, it's for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games. It supports the use of the Wiimote, Nunchuck, the classic Wii controller, Wii U Pro controller, GameCube controller. Uh, but more on that if you want to read the rest later. So on the right side, just click on the download link. It should take you to this uh, GitHub page where you should find the latest version. Currently it's 2.4.6. And then below, uh, click on the second link and it should download the emulator. Now we're also gonna download the channel installer here. So make sure you click the one that says VWE because we're doing this on the Wii U. Just click on the channel installer that says VWE and you're set. So we're done with that page. Now we're going to download the covers. So go to the Google Drive link below and it should take you here where you can just click download. Click download anyway and it should download. You will need uh, an extraction software. I use WinRAR to extract the zip files. But once those are downloaded, uh, just pull up your SD card and we'll get it set up. So once you pull up your SD card, here's what mine looks like. Um, but you're just going to open up the first one we downloaded, the zip file. You should see the apps and VBA GX. Just highlight both of those and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Close that zip file. Open up the channel installer that we downloaded. Now you can open up the readme text and read about it. It gives you installation instructions. It gives you the warning, this channel is only for the Wii U. If you want to get the Wii one, that's a different download. But we don't need this readme file, so just drag the apps folder onto the root of your SD card, close the zip file, and open up the covers. Or before we drag that on, we're going to go into the VBA GX folder on the root of your SD card, and you see there is no covers folder yet. But on the zip file, go into the first folder, you'll see that it gives us apps and VBA GX. We're going to go into the VBA GX folder and just drag this covers folder into that spot on our SD card. Now this might take a little longer because it's a larger file. It has a huge, huge number of games. I think, oh, 4,000 it looks like. <laughs> so just let that transfer over. Now you don't need all of these games, but I'm just putting all of them on in case I want to add other ROMs to my collection on there. Then I'll already have the cover. But you can go into the covers and just find which ones you want and go with that. All right, so it's transferred over. If you go into that covers folder, you'll see there's a 2D folder, a 3D folder, and then these miscellaneous ones. So if you go into the 2D one, it has an entire list uh, for obviously two-dimensional, and then uh, 3D, three-dimensional. We'll be able to choose which one we use when we get on the emulator. I'll show you that later. But you can exit the zip file, and now we need to place the ROMs in the correct folder. So on the root of your SD card, go into your VBA GX folder, go into your ROMs, and then if you have any backed up, this is where you're going to put them. So I'm just going to throw a few in there right now. Now these can be played just as a zip file, so you don't have to extract them. Now your ROMs, if you want the covers to show up on them, they need to be spelled the same as the corresponding cover. So this one, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, USA. Let's go see if uh, it's spelled the same. So let's just search up Kirby. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, uh, it just has a U, so we're gonna go change that. This is one downside to the Game Boy covers is they're not all spelled as the zip file is. So uh, we'll just rename this U. And then I'll show you what I mean on the emulator if these are spelled differently than their corresponding covers. So as you can see here, Mario Kart Super Circuit is also spelled that same way with a U in brackets. So I'm not going to change the ROM for that one and you'll see that it might not show up. 
but Super Mario Advance, I think it's also spelled the same, so we're just gonna change that as well. In summary, if you want the covers to show up on the games, they need to be spelled the same as the ROMs, so you might have to go in and change a couple things for that to work. So once you're done all that, your SD card should look like this in your apps folder. You should have your VBA GX with these three files, that's our main emulator. You should have VBA GX channel installer with these files. And then back on the root, you should have VBA GX with covers like this, ROMs, and that's it. So we're ready to head over to the Wii U. I'll meet you over on the virtual Wii. Now over on your virtual Wii, we're gonna go into the homebrew channel, start it up, and then once your apps load, we're gonna find VBA Visual Boy Advance GX. And let's start it up. So as you can see, we're in the emulator now. That's good, we just needed to make sure it works and just exit and we're gonna go install the virtual Wii channel quick. Back in your homebrew channel. Now to install this channel, you're gonna need patched iOS 80 installer for the Wii U. Uh, I did that in my homebrew Wii U video, so you can check that in my Wii U homebrewing playlist if you don't have that already. But anyways, let's go into the channel installer and load it up. and then it should give you this prompt to do you want to install this channel click install and it should install this pretty quick press ok when it says successfully installed it should take us back to the homebrew channel now once you have the channel installed if you want to you can go ahead and delete this but I suggest doing it on your computer rather than through the homebrew channel just in case but let's go to the system menu and uh, see where the channel is and just like that, we have our VBA GX channel right there. So let's go ahead and start it up and let's set up our covers. Well, that loads pretty quick. So the covers don't automatically show up. We're going to go into settings, go into saving and loading, and then we're going to pick our covers folder. So just click A on covers folder. As you can see, it just says slash covers. We're going to add a slash, and then we can pick either 2D or 3D, whichever one you want to show up. I'm going to pick 2D, capital D. Press OK. And then while we're in here, we're also going to change this to SD instead of auto detect. So go back, and once you're here, go into the menu settings, go to the preview image where it says screenshots. We're going to click it until it says covers. So go back, go back again, and we uh, we have covers for Kirby the Amazing Mirror and Super Mario Advance. Now Mario Kart Super Circuit, that one, you can't see the cover because I didn't change the USA to U. So the file name is different than the name in the covers file. So if they don't show up, just make sure they, they're spelled the same because it'll automatically associate the cover with the ROM as long as they're spelled exactly the same. So now that we have the covers, uh, let's start up the game and I'll show you how to save and load. To save for this game specifically, you just save and continue, or save and quit. Uh, but for the general consensus of games, if you want to save it directly where you are, just click the home button, it'll bring you this menu, click save, and you just do new SRAM, save successful, just like that. And then to load it up, you just click load and select which one you want to load. But for this game, and and for other games similar to this, where you have different files you can choose from, you just usually use that menu and save and save and quit. But anyways, that's it for how to set up the Game Boy emulator for the Wii U. If you found it helpful, please leave a like, it really helps me out. And if you found it really helpful, you're welcome to donate using the super thanks, but that's not expected of course. Thank you guys for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in the future, especially that how to get a VBAGX Wii U channel. And then also, there's a link below if you want to use my Discord. And also, uh, if you're interested in the products I use, they're linked below, and if you want to join my Discord, that's also there. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.